but no Sephiroth for this one. We're going to have a... Have two classic video game characters go go up against each other right here. Yeah, two two classic characters with a lot of projectiles. Yeah, indeed. So we're gonna be hey, seeing coming see out. How this goes. Yeah, and we're coming right. into uh, small battlefield, which you know the PS2 platform layout I feel like has really kind of low key always benefited zoners. Those those platforms make such good camping spots. Already, we're seeing Fawn getting some great uh, conversions coming out. Lurdy uh, playing a little bit aggressive. But it's, it's, it's kind of working out. Yep, and there we go. Using that back air to put Fawn back off stage. Trying to set up oh, with the, the bell. bell. Oh. Yeah, I like okay. the idea coming out from Fawn, but it's not connecting. Yeah, we're seeing Lurdy play like... Really aggressive, just hold forward. I don't think we've seen a single hydrant thus far. Yeah. Oh, wait, never mind. There <laughs> we go. Finally set it up. <laughs> oh, Lurdy got the bell, but it was a little bit too tunnel visioned on his uh, on his hydrant to be able to get anything out of it. Seeing, I think, it, yeah, there we go. Neutral air going to pop that hydrant right there. Now we're seeing Lurdy just kind of hang back and start to uh, charge up the fruits to, to get the yep. kill. Ooh, but nice side media. So that up air. Got the clay pigeon first into time. up air. I mean, I feel like where Lurdy is, has just been kind of swinging for the fences thus far, Fawn really has their conversions down, especially when it comes to these clay pigeons and the nice can setups. And there we go. Another can setup. Great uh, catching the, the jump there. And, and catching the neutral get up from ledge, too, yo. So Fawn has been catching Lurdy slipping quite a bit. And this is only game one. <laughs> yeah, and this is like 129 just completely oh, uh, unanswered. Oh, trying to go for the down air right there. But I, I respect it from Fawn. Unfortunately, yeah. it just didn't quite work out. But, I mean, you got hella extra credit on this on this second yeah, stop right yeah. now. Like, you you, you you still got a pretty dang nice lead in terms of percentage right here. Like, L Lurdy's at 154. Oh, wait, damn, that, that can't damn near kill. But not. No, not quite. Lurdy living a little bit longer. Going high this time. Send down that hydrant. And, and even, you know, despite out. being so high up in percentage, Lurdy is still trying to just hold forward and threaten with uh, with buttons. And it's just, it's not quite working out yeah. for him. For real. Especially with, with that second slot gone from that can. Pretty much. Nice. Play Pigeon actually interrupting yeah. the Galaxian and making sure Lurdy can't really get anything more out of it. Tried to throw down a hydrant there, but didn't realize that it was still out on the right. Yeah, and, and, and if you take take a look at how uh, Fawn's playing, like Fawn's definitely playing like more, a, a bit more reactionary, and like kind of just like walling them out a little bit. Yeah, and I mean that's just the way that uh, they can kind of play this this matchup right now because of the Ooh. way that Lurdy is playing so aggressive. Yeah. Fawn is just waiting right outside of Lurdy's burst range and getting some fantastic whiff punishes out of it. Now we're seeing Lurdy sitting at 114 on their last stock of game one. Let's see if Fawn can close it out in short order. All right, got that up air. Now Lurdy's still hanging on. Yep, and there we go. Fawn just scouted out that high jump that time. Oop, that can's coming back. You gotta watch that, Whoa. Lurdy. Yeah, just <laughs> giving Fawn all, right the, over all the room. No thank you, I don't want to deal with that can. <laughs> I turn it down now. Mom said it's my turn in the bank state. Mom <laughs> I'm kidding. Oh, but nice catch on them in the air with that up air. Yep, huge, uh, huge up air coming out from Fawn to take game one. Nicely done by Fawn. Yeah, Lur Lurdy got a got chill with them just playing like super duper aggressive right there. Yeah, and I think, was that... Uh, Fawn, Fawn ended with two stocks, right? Uh, yeah. Yeah, and I think that was the only kill that Lurdy got was kind of an accidental reversal kill off of ledge there while Fawn was going out for an edge guard. Yeah. It, it was a little unfortunate for Fawn, but hey, no, 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 no need to worry uh, about that. Well, Fawn don't, don't got to worry about that because they, they managed to take the game either way. Yeah, I feel like Lurdy just doesn't have, like, the setups down that Pac-Man needs. I feel like... Pac-Man Pac is a great character, but I feel like if you don't really play him very much, 
it can be very difficult for Pac-Man to kill. A lot of his uh, kill, like more raw kill moves, um, really require him to go out, uh, especially like down air or just like raw bell into forward smash or like hydrants, which take so much time to set up. And it's if you don't have these like complex setups to condition your opponent into a space where you can hit them with a hydrant or like get a bell into a, a smash attack, then you're just not going to be killing. I mean, uh, Pac-Man does have, so have some other stuff like, here and there. Like he, he, he does have, uh, of, of, cor of course, the key to, to the Honda. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> the key to the Honda. Like, oh I, don't, I, don't, I, don't, I don't want my whip, you can have it. <laughs> what a catch by Fawn. The Clay Pigeon came out even though they were being grabbed, and Fawn was still able to convert into the stock. And that's really just been the difference maker in this matchup is well, Fawn the has these oh, setups. Try to go for the triple one. You're playing duck, huh? Not something. Yeah. Oh, ooh, ooh. nice use of that can. Oh, my lord. 30, unfortunately, not ready for the tech. Fawn sitting at 66 Christ. on their first stock still. God. Yeah, this is really, really bad for, for Lurdy. It seems like they're, they're just keeping up with their, their aggressive play here, too. Yeah. Gotta, I like gotta change stuff up, mate. This ain't working on old, on old Fawn. Yeah, I like the sort of tricky movement there with the beer verse on the cherry. Wow, the, the hitbox of Nair completely negated the bell. So unfortunate oh, for Lurdy. Go for the deep edge guard with that back here, but I, Vaughn still living. I don't know if I agree with Lurdy charging the uh, the fruit there, just because you know Fawn had to air dodge back to ledge. Oh, but there we go. Finally getting the back air, but Lurdy has a mountain to climb right now. Yeah, it's gonna oh be God. rather rough, bowl. Nice catch with that back air. Lurdy throwing the whole kitchen sink at Fawn. <laughs> Ooh, all right. I don't, I don't want the Honda. You can have the kitchen, too. <laughs> Let's see. Only just throwing the bell oh. raw and, yeah, can, uh, committing a little bit too hard right there. I think kind of tunnel vision and an F smash is going to be taking it for Fawn. 2-0. Yeah. That was, that was rather rough for Lurdy. Yeah. And I, I think it just comes down to, like I was saying before, Pac-Man's a character that you kind of have to lab those setups. Yeah. Although then although then again, like, Pac-Man do, does have some other, like, neat things to, to kill with. Like, for example, on that first stock, they, uh, Lurdy did got uh, a solid kill with that back air. Um, and, of, and, of course, Pac-Man does ha have uh, the key projectile. He he, he has uh, confirms off of his bell. And, and, and he even has a side B2 on top of that. But... Yeah, like just just having like th those setups that 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 can be like r really really uh, helpful.